decided to be anywhere warm on Saturday. Kenny is absolutely right. No thank you to the 40s or the 30s or the 20s. Yeah, it's going to be cold. We've got the cold front here and moving in from the west and you can see that warm front that has been just to our north. We've been in that warm sector all day. We made it to 64 degrees in Mount Airy, 66 in Winston Salem through Burlington and then 64 in Greensboro with the hot spot 67 degrees in Uptown Lexington. So nice and we've actually made another day of beautiful sunshine conditions. Six days so far for 2024 in February compared to last year. We're doing really well and that does mean that we've actually got a mild trend for for you for February, we're the 13th warmest when it comes to average high temperatures. And then for the overall mean, we're also at about 10th warmest February on record. And as we are forecasting more 60s later in the week, I think we're going to be able to top that. We're going to be pretty highly ranked for a warm February. Also, rainfall totals have been rather dry, and so has the snow. Unfortunately, we are down by two inches for snowfall and about 18 hundredths of an inch when it comes to rainfall and 69 degrees back on the 10th, 27th on the 7th. And I think we'll be able to break those down a little bit as we go into the weekend for morning lows. It's going to be chilly 52 degrees in Burlington. Currently we're down to 55 in Winston Salem, but these are typical high temperatures at 53 this time of the year. So we are sitting at a high temperature at 11 o'clock at night. Not bad. And then we gradually see those drop through early tomorrow morning. One of the reasons we're still mild is because we've got the winds that have been up. They've just started to drop off in spots like Walnut Cove and Puff Town. Winston Salem, but 5 to 10, 13 miles an hour on Greensboro, and eventually you're calming down toward morning. So, more clouds, upper 50s Friday. We've got a big change for you as another system heads our way. It's going to usher in more clouds for us tomorrow, and then early Saturday morning while we're sleeping between about midnight and 4 a.m., maybe a sprinkle or two, a light passing shower is possible. Then we're left with cooler and windy conditions for the weekend. 35 degrees tomorrow morning in the mountains will take you up to about 50 degrees, but it's a cooler day. We don't have the sunshine to make you feel all nice and warm and toasty and spring like. Instead, we've got those rain chances that will start to build for late evening. Really, I think as we get closer to the midnight hour, that's when the action may begin up in the mountains for shower chances that turn us into a wet snow. 38 degrees in the foothills with 56 degrees. Those clouds are stacked up to in Mount Airy and Yadkinville and from 41 degrees to about 57 degrees. So lunchtime temperatures are in the low 50s. I think with the cloud cover, it's maybe not the perfect day to sit outside for lunch, but still a nice day for a walk without the winds. Tomorrow's winds are going to be way down compared to today. And you're looking at Friday, those temperatures with clouds really starting to fill in. This particular model wants to keep us cooler, but with a south to southwesterly flow by late afternoon, even if it's three to five miles an hour, it should take us into the upper 50s. We hold on to those low 50s to upper 40s through early evening and then by late evening we bring in a spotty shower. That's when we could see some snow mix in along the Blue Ridge Parkway from Scalax, even maybe even to Sparta into Allegheny County. We could get in a little bit of light rain or some snow flurries. I don't think it's going to be a whole lot there as we get you east of the mountains and then that rain sort of just dissolves as it moves east. It's working through very dry air and we just don't have a lot of moisture converging in from the south or the Gulf, so it just doesn't work well for us. By early morning Saturday, we're down into the 30s and may get into the mid and upper 40s if we're lucky. It's just going to be so blustery. It's going to feel pretty miserable on Saturday compared to today. So then your Saturday night turns into pretty cold conditions after 9 o'clock. You're in the freezing zone back into the 20s by early Sunday morning. Here's that seven day forecast. At least we stretch out dry for much of the weekend and for President's Day on Monday. Beautiful. A lot of folks will be out of work and out of school. You've got sunshine for that day and 60s returning through middle of next week. Looking great. We'll be back with more.